from the Zayn Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zayn Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zayn Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, and indeed, more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions in this quarterfinal game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Zambia. Inok Siabalo, first year, Natural Sciences, Busak. Topalo Matenda, third year law, Chingola. Wesley Ngongo, first year, Natural Sciences, Busaka. And from my left, it's the Zane Scholars team from Mzuzu University, Malawi. Kondwani Kapaizi, fourth year, ICT, Lilongwe. Prince Majiga, fourth year, English Education, Lilongwe. Sebastian Kanyani, fourth year, History Education, Chisi. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the centre position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in centre position for Mzuzu University, Malawi, is Kondwani. And Kondwani, you have lived your life surrounded by three sisters and a mum. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah, uh, in my family, I'm the only boy surrounded by three sisters and my mum and my dad. So my sisters have influenced me um, in many ways. Uh, over the years, I've grown to respect women because of yeah, my sisters, uh, having lived with sisters all around. And they've also influenced me in um, strange ways, such as they've, they made me into a fan of the Spice Girls, which might be strange to most men. But <laughs> a man in a woman's world. Lucky you. Enoch, yes, John. I've been asking people about the happiest moment in their lives. What about a worst moment in your life? That would have to be my first day of high school. Uh, it was really, really embarrassing. Um, after the vacation, uh, I kind of grew a bit taller. And my hair also yeah, just went berserk. So my first day of school, I went there with a trousers that was ankle high and an afro like Michael Jackson. And well, yeah, people really made fun of me. So what happened is uh, I told my mother, please, Transfer I me. Mean, I, I really want to get out. But uh, in the end, she just told me, no, look, you know you've, you've been through worse, so you can make it. Just go for one more week. That week became a month, which became years, and I... I, I and you're still in school, yeah, no still, doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won the toss earlier on, so you get the first choice of category. Let's take the Zane Africa Challenge. 
round one. Let's have a look at our first four categories. And they are Italian words in English, latitudes and longitudes, science in the news, world business. Enoch, choice of category, please. Italian words in English. It is. A baked flat bread covered in tomato sauce and melted cheese gets its name from which Italian word for pie? University of Zambia. Pizza. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Photographers who chase celebrities for candid pictures to sell to tabloids are known by which Italian P word? Paparazzi. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30 straight off. Enoch, choice of category, please. Italian words in English. It is. Which three-syllable Italian word for little shadow names a handheld device to keep dry during rain? Mzuzu? Umbrella. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Impasto, fiasco, canto, gelato. Which word derived from Italian means, one, a song? Canto. That is correct. Two, a humiliating failure. Fiasco. That is correct for 20 points. 30 points equal Kondwani choice of category, please. World business. World business it is. By sales, the largest U.S. exporter is which maker of the 737 and 767 passenger jets? University of Zambia. Boeing. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which athletic shoe company is named one after the Greek goddess of victory, not its whoosh logo? Nike. That is correct. Two, its founder, Adolf Dashler. Adidas. That is correct for 20 points. Bringing your total to 60 against Mzuzu's 30. Enoch, choice of category, please. World business. World business it is. Which largest internet search engine takes its name from a misspelling of the word for one followed by 100 zeros? Mzuzu. Google. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which European nation is headquarters of these two largest insurance companies? One, the ING Group. UK. No, the Netherlands, and two, Allianz. Germany. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 50 against the University of Zambia, 60. Kondwani, choice of category, please. Italian words in English. Italian words in English it is. Which political ism was founded by Italy's dictator before the invasion of Ethiopia and World War II? Mzuzu. Communism. I'm turning it over to the University of Zambia. Fascism. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. <laughs> Fermi, Galileo, Machiavelli, Petrarch. Which Italian name is associated with, one, a type of amoral politics? Machiavelli. That is correct. And two, Jupiter's four largest moons? Galileo. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 90 against Mazuzu's 50. Enoch, choice of category, please. World business. Business it is. Cars, finance, oil. Six of the world's ten largest companies ranked by revenue are in which industry? Mzuzu? Oil. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In 2008, Asia's largest two companies ranked by revenue were, one, which Japanese automaker? Toyota. Is correct. Two, Sinopec, a petroleum giant from which country? China. Is correct for 20 points. End of round one. There's 10 points in it, gentlemen. At the end of round one, the score stands at Mzuzu University, 80. The University of Zambia, 90. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Education is a vital need that every country in Africa works hard to fulfill. C and a D. Some of the things we get from the market is C. At the core of Zane's corporate social responsibility is education as a measure towards enabling governments and people to achieve the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. I say thank you to Zane Communication Ghana Limited for their assistance to the school in presenting us with books and educational materials. In all our markets across Africa, Zane works hard to safeguard our future generation by supporting them with books, computers, equipment, and a good learning environment. They have helped us to reveal our dreams, to actually look forward to the doors to our dreams. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. 
Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 80 for Mzuzu University Malawi against 90 for the University of Zambia. We have two new face-off players in centre position. Kapalu for the University of Zambia has had to step up his cooking game. Tell us why. Uh, well, when I first went to university, I was staying with uh, my brother Kakoma and uh, Z Banda, his roommate, and they were very harsh critics uh, when it came to food. So I had no option but to step up my cooking game if I wanted to stay in the room. So my uh, future wife is in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky woman. Prince, this is the day of women, I think, because I do believe, Prince, that there's a woman in your life and it's not your girlfriend either. Yeah, that's true. The heroine in my life is my mom because she's the one who has made me into what I am today. This is because she has instilled in me the values which I still cherish up today. She has instilled in me respect for other people, tolerance, patience and hard work. Well, I hope your girlfriend's not watching as you choose our new category. Have a look at our four new categories and they are Europeans in Africa, Jewels of the Continent, Specialized Fields, the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games. It is. Abebe Bikila won the gold in 1960 by running in which event? University of Zambia. Marathon. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, the marathon represents the legendary feat of a Greek soldier who supposedly ran from marathon to which other city? Athens. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 120. Kapalu, choice of category, please. The Olympic Games. The Olympic Games it is. Derived from jiu-jitsu, which Olympic sport allows choking an opponent in a submission hold or breaking an arm? The University of Zambia. Judo. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Jiu-jitsu was a hand-to-hand -hand combat technique of Japanese warriors known by what three-syllable word? Samurai. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 150. Kapalu, choice of category, please. The Olympic Games, John. The Olympic Games it is. John Akiboa, the only Ugandan to win gold in athletics, did so at the 1972 Games in which German city? University of Zambia. Munich. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. 1, 36 seconds, 48 seconds, 93 seconds. Which is closest to Akiboa's winning time in the 400 meter hurdles? Uh, 48 seconds. That is correct. Two, Uganda boycotted the 1976 Games in which Canadian city? Montreal. That is correct. 20 points, bringing your total to 180. Kapalu, choice of category, please. The Olympic Games, please. The Olympic Games it is. How many coloured zones are there on an Olympic archery target? Mzuzu? Five. That is correct. And that flash of lightning means that you get to play the Zane Super Bonus of the day for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is Famous Faces. Please take a look at your screen. Consider these beauties from Face Off Africa, which is one 2008 winner, Kate Menson. Just guess B. B. No, the answer is C. 2005 winner, Kaone Kario. C. No, the correct answer is D. And three, competition founder Oluchi. D. D. No, the correct answer is A. Prince, choice of category, please. Specialized fields. Specialized fields it is. Which allergy investigates ancestry and family trees? Zuzu. Genealogy. That is correct. For 10 points apiece, pedology, psychology, penology. One, which specializes in crime and punishment? Penology. That is correct. And two, which specializes in children? Pedology. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 120. Prince, choice of category, please. Specialized fields. Specialized fields it is. Beauty, evil, reality. Which is the subject of the branch of philosophy called aesthetics? Zuzu? Beauty. Beauty is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Knowledge, Knowledge morality, perception. Which is the subject of one, epistemology? Knowledge. That is correct. Two, ethics. Morality. That is correct for 20 points. End of round two. The score stands at 150 for Mzuzu University Malawi against 180 for the University of Zambia. We'll be back to take more of the Zane Africa Challenge.
Stay with us after this break. Tonight's question is: Why do giraffes have black tongues? As you might expect from an animal with such a long neck, giraffes like to eat leaves from trees, and their favourite leaves come from acacia trees. Acacias have very long, sharp thorns, and the giraffe uses its tongue to grab leaves by reaching around those thorns. This exposes the giraffe's tongue to the sun, hour after hour, day after day. The black in the giraffe's tongue is caused by a pigment called melanin, the same pigment that darkens human skin. Melanin serves the same function in the giraffe's tongue as it does in your skin. It blocks much of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays and therefore helps prevent sunburn. If the tongue weren't protected by melanin, those ultraviolet rays could cause cancer, killing the giraffe. Email me with topics you'd like to know more about at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com. Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and indeed all the participating universities themselves. Thank you all very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands in this exciting quarterfinal, 150 from Zuzu University against 180 for the University of Zambia. Two new players in centre position, Wesley for the University of Zambia, whom I believe already has a fan club of five. Thank you. Uh, well, John, that is true. I do have very loyal fans back home in Zambia, and primarily those are my roommates at school. And their names are Bright, Scott, Mwila, Daniel, and Cleopas. Those guys have been very supportive. Uh, they even let me use the Inkata on their PC to study for the, Africa, for, for the Zen Africa Challenge. So I just want to thank them. Guys, Skoma. I hope the message got through. Sebastian, I believe that in the interest of gender sensitivity, you'd like to say a word or two about your dad. Yes. Uh, my dad has uh, inspired me a value of sharing which is also heard by many Malawians, that each every little thing you have, you have to share with those who don't have. And I believe that my achievements here are also going to be shared. Thank you. May we all be Malawians. <laughs> Sebastian, your team is behind. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are bees and wasps. It's about time, resolving old business, the final frontier. Sebastian. Resolving what business? It is. In 2008, a U.S. court convicted Charles Taylor Jr. on eight counts of torture in which African nation ruled by his father in the 1990s? Mzuzu. Liberia. That is correct for 20 bonus points. In 2008, Mauritius was the first African country declared by the U.N. to be free of which disease? Malaria. That is correct for 20 points, making you both 180 points equal. Sebastian, choice of category, please. It is resolving what business? It is. In August 2008, President Ian Kama affirmed which nation's democratic tradition by bluntly refusing an offer for a third term? <coughs> University of Zambia. Botswana. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In 2008, Nigeria ceded the Bakasi Peninsula to Cameroon. The World Court had ordered that transfer based on a 1913 treaty between which two colonial powers? Uh, Germany and UK. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 210 against Mzuzu's 180. Wesley, choice of category, please. The final frontier. It is. Which planet has dozens of moons, the largest being the aptly named Titan? University of Zambia. Satan. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which two planets lack moons? Mercury and Venus. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 240. Wesley, choice of category, the please. Final, the final frontier. It is. Which body in our solar system that is classified as a planet is the most distant? <coughs> Mzuzu. The Sun. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Zambia. Neptune. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Three years, 24 years, 167 years. Which is the closest to the time it takes Neptune to complete one orbit of the sun? 
167 years. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 270. Wesley, choice of category, please. The final frontier. It is. Astronomer William Herschel coined which term for the belt of star-like rocky objects between Mars and Jupiter? Mzuzu? Make way. I'm turning it over to the University of Zambia. Apollo? No, the correct answer is asteroids. Wesley, choice of category, the, please. The, the final frontier. The final frontier it is. Aruna Firebird Phoenix. Which spacecraft, named after a reborn bird of myth, landed on Mars in 2008? Mzuzu? Firebird. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Zambia. Phoenix. Is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Mars, two moons, named after the companions of Ares, bear which Greek words for fear and panic? Uh, four boys and demons. That is correct for 20 points. Bringing your total to 300. Wesley, choice of category, please. Resolving odd business. Business it is. In 2008, the Dutch government began funding programs to halt the falling water level in which 70,000 square kilometer lake? Mzuzu? Victoria. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In 2008, UNESCO re-erected a 211-meter, 1,700-year-old obelisk at Aksum 1 in which nation? Ethiopia. That is correct. And two, it had been stolen in 1937 by which European nation? Italy. That is correct for 20 points. End of round three. <laughs> the score stands at 210 for Mzuzu University Malawi against 300 for the University of Zambia. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane Airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which food ingredient is an anagram of last in pan? Is it A, palm oils, B, plantains, or C, tilapias? SMS your answer to 33996. Choose A for palm oils, B plantains, or C tilapias. SMS your answer to 33996. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 210 for Mzuzu University Malawi against 300 for the University of Zambia. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Mzuzu University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are author's surnames, which decade, medical conditions, around the track. Which decade? Which decade it is? Take a deep breath. During which decade? The zeros, the tens, the twenties, the thirties, etc. Did each of these occur? And seconds away, Russia has its October Deez. revolution. Yes. Deez. Sharp and Roberts to be believed was published. Six days. No. Footballer Benjamin Mwala. Seven days. Yes. Hungarian Laszlo Biro invented the ballpoint pen. Pass. The World Trade Organization came into effect. Four days. No. Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life in prison. Six days. Yes. The Panama Canal opened. Seven days. No. The Upper Volta became Six broken. Days. No. Wale Shoenke published The Jewel and the Crown. Seven days. No. The first and second battles of Tobruk were fought. 
Fifty. No. Sharp and Roberts to be believed was published. Twenties. No. Hungarian Laszlo Bieri. Nineties. No. The World Trade Organization. Forties. No. The Panama Canal opened. Fifties. No. Upper Vault of the Kings. Seventies. No. Wallace Schwenk is the Jewel in the Crown is published. Seventies. No. The first and second battles of Tobruk. Forties. Were... Yes. Sharp and Rob. Time's up. You answered four questions correctly, giving you a total of 200 points in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 410. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. To Be Believed was published in the 1950s. The ballpoint pen was invented in the 1930s. WTO came into effect in the 1990s. The Panama Canal opened in the 1910s. Upper Volta became Burkina Faso in the 1980s, and finally, the Jewel and the Crown in the 1960s. The University of Zambia, at this stage, you have a total of 300 points. You're 110 points behind, and therefore you need three correct answers to emerge as today's outright winners. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? Medical, Medical conditions. conditions. Medical conditions it is. Take a deep breath. Identify these diseases, conditions, etc., of the human body. And seconds away, the common name from my cardio. Yes, a child's itchy rash caused by varicose. No. Life stage when a woman's fertility Menopause. ends. Yes. Hardened cholesterol or bilirubin in the bile. Pass. A group of joint diseases including rheumatoid. Arthritis. Yes. Amyloid plaques are a feature of this most common dementia. Pass. Burn fragility caused by calcium loss. Osteoporosis. Yes. The pattern condition known to doctors as... Pills. Yes. The branch of medicine concerned with care Gerontology. for the elderly. Gerontology. Yes. Gerontology. Solid calcium oxalate that painfully passes through the urinary Kidney system. Kidney stones. Yes. A child's itchy rash caused by the varicella virus. Measles. No. Hardened cholesterol and bilirubin in the bile. Bile stones. Yes. Amyloid plaques are a feature of this most common dementia. Pass. A child's itchy rash. Chicken box. Yes. Amyloid plaques are a feature. Time's up. <laughs> you answered nine questions correctly, giving you a total of 450 in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 750, making the University of Zambia the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. Let's have a look at the one that you got wrong. Amyloid phases Alzheimer's disease. Mzuzu University, it's been a long haul and a gallant effort. Mwapambana, I still remember it. Well played. As quarter-finalists, you'll be taking away 1,500 US dollars each, plus 15,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Zambia, Mwaberega. Twarunga. Well done. Well won. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next quarterfinal game, it's Kenya versus Kenya as Kenyatta University takes on the Catholic University of Eastern Africa in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.